I'm glad it worked out. Katharina Vermette had to sign a few books today, hundreds and hundreds of them. It's a good problem for an author to have. The Métis Winnipeg writer who grew up in the North End is most famous for a series of novels that began with The Break. The series kicks off with a violent act set in this Manitoba Hydro Corridor. But violence is just one facet of Vermette's fiction. This book, I was articulating it as, I want to write about trauma without being traumatic. This book is The Circle, which comes out on Tuesday. It's the third and final chapter in a series that began with The Break in 2016 and continued with The Strangers in 2021. All three books chronicle the resilience of several generations of Winnipeg families. The stories are told first person by a handful of those characters. My concern is that one character and their view of the world. And through that one character, you know about their likes and their dislikes and their history and their everything and their impression of the world. And that it's a very singular way into a world. The writing is deceptively simple, even if the subject matter is complex. Vermette manages to make intergenerational trauma understandable. To make that feel simple when it's not, it's just a mark of, of skill, really. David Robertson is a friend of Vermette and a celebrated Winnipeg author in his own right. She took this complex family, these complex cast of characters in a really complex situation, and she made it um, something that anybody can read and, and, and enter into that world. Even though the prose is easy to read, Vermette says she knows not everyone finds it easy. Some people just don't want to read the heavy stuff and they're like, oh, you're too heavy for me, you know, lighten up, be a joke. You know, that comes from all over. <laughs> but also there's other people who feel um, seen. That's always my most precious compliment. Although the circle is billed as a conclusion to the Stranger trilogy, Vermette won't rule out revisiting some of the characters. Bert Lakivas, CBC News, Winnipeg.